God knows that you cannot undo a thing, you will deliberately delay it. There are some things I so much desire to have in my heart in my life at the moment, but I do not have them yet. Well, I think I feel like maybe I'm not doing enough for something, but at the same time, I think that probably I haven't built capacity enough for it. So if you've not built capacity enough for parenting, no matter what, no matter the amount of prayer you build, you prayed, it will not come. But you know, our journey in life are different. So, our journey in life are different. And the kind of child that God will give you is different than the kind of child God will give me. So some people are actually experiencing delay because God want them to be prepared enough for the kind of spiritual child. Hi people, welcome to another pregnancy video. Yes, by now it's no longer news that um, we are pregnant and of course by the time you are even seeing this video, it might be that problem at the tail end of my pregnancy journey or uh, maybe we even welcome our baby, alright? So, in this video I will share with you, I actually prepared myself for baby number two. If you didn't watch my um, previous video on where I got to know I was pregnant and telling to my husband, the link will definitely be in the subscription box or hop here. So, do not rush there and, you know, watch, 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 watch. And yes, before we even go further, before we go more into the video, into the juicy, juicy part of this video, do well to give me a like button. Do well to smash that like button. Please, yes, it's important. Help my ministry. Smash the like button. And just drop a comment for me down below. Oh, how am I looking? How am I popping? Am I popping? What do you think about this pregnancy on me? Anyways, I'm 25 weeks and two days pregnant today. Yes, and you can see my bump is still looking like I had some alafufu. Yes, not so big, but of course, we got that my first pregnancy anyway, because my first pregnancy, people didn't really know that I was pregnant until around six weeks going on seven weeks. I'm oh, sorry, until around six months going on seven weeks. We're already in our six months going on seven months, too, for this one, though. Well, of course, people already know. They're already calling me Yai Jema. Mm, my baby is too much. So, let me talk about how I got myself prepared for baby number two. I said, I already made up my mind that I'm going to be doing my pregnancy and birth back to back. Got really, and yes, the num the first thing I did was is that I prepared spiritually. Funny enough, I wasn't the one that only prepared spiritually. Even my husband, I remember vividly that my husband was the one that came up with the fact that my husband was the one that came with the prophecy of we having a second child. You know, even when my baby was around four five months, he said, "I saw that we are pregnant and we'll give it to a baby boy," and he gave me the name of the boy of the child. All right, so. Whenever we are praying in the house, I remember church telling us to make a payment and making a list and all that. If we had our name, we had my name, his name, Soteria, and we had the name of the child, okay? So we started preparing for this baby spiritually. There is, was even a time we said we should write that the Spirit of God came that the spirit, the spirit of God moved us to write an open check for every member of our family in church. And I remember that my husband added the name of the baby into it. And he told me that you hold soterias on her and we hold babies on. You get it. So, we prepared for it spiritually. It's very, very important. There's nothing that you see in the physical that has not happened in the spiritual. So, if you have not seen it in the spiritual, it will be very, very difficult for you to actually see it happen physically. So, we prepare our mind, our spirit, our soul, everything. We prepare for it spiritually. We saw us betting this son in the spirit, even though we have not been pregnant then. In fact, then, my menstruation has not started. As a matter of fact, you need to watch that first video where when I shared where I started menstruating back. You know, I, I was not menstruating as at fifth, five weeks, six months, sorry, five months, six months postpartum. So and he has already received that we got pregnant and then you know um we have a baby boy. And I also remembered me one of our prayer nights at home. I fell into trance, probably trance or you know, I said giving word of prophecy and I gave that, I'm sorry, and I gave the word that we had the son. So spiritually we've said today that, you know what, we are not going to be having any delay in giving birth to another child. God has said it, it is due season and we are having it. So we perceive that we know that it's our season to be pregnant again, then we just move with the spirit of God. That being said, the other thing I did to actually prepare for baby number two is that I prepared my spirit, eh, sorry, I prepared my body. Postpartum, you'll be under GRS, stress, breastfeeding and all that. So what I was doing at that particular period was that I was taking folic acid, even though I told my husband to buy me, what's it called, supplements, pregnant care supplements, there's a supplement I used for my first child, 
when I was pregnant with her, we also, there's a particular supplement for, uh, they call it postpartum um, pregnant care or something. But I was sharp, but there was, it wasn't forthcoming, so I started using folic acid. I was just using folic, folic acid and whatever um, was it called, but I was very, very, um, what was it called? I was very consistent with my folic acid usage. Plus, I was still breastfeeding, and at the same time, I was um, what's it called? I was breastfeeding. So another thing I did was that apart from taking supplements, which is the folic acid, I didn't take lot supplement though. I didn't take serious supplement. The only supplement I took was folic acid. Okay. Aside taking folic acid, I also try as much as I could to maintain a well, um, a healthy lifestyle. Yes. During those during that period, I can remember that I joined. Um, I joined a weight, a weight loss. I, I started a weight loss journey. If you probably you've heard about Shredder Gang, so I joined them. We have a um, a meal timetable. Had a meal routine. It was wasn't for pregnancy. I didn't join them so that I would get pregnant. I joined them so that I would just maintain a healthy lifestyle. Because when it comes to pregnancy and childbirth, your health status really matters. Most people don't know this, and they will not even tell you. But it is important what you eat in what you take into you your health how much of exercise do you do of course all, doing all this does not validate that you preg you get pregnant and yes that's the truth it takes god it's only the miracle of god that makes anyone get pregnant please do not um misquote or probably twine or twist what i say okay it takes the miracle of god for anyone to be pregnant all right but that being said there are still little things here and there are little efforts we have we still need to put in for us to actually be pregnant and that is why what i'm actually putting out here okay so i said i i joined this weight loss journey that actually puts me i joined the weight loss journey not because i want to pregnant not because i want to be pregnant but just because i want to feel confident about myself i want to lose my belly and my baby fat and also slim down my waist i want to go back to what i was before i got pregnant okay so that was basically why i joined but i know that it will definitely help and it has helped people losing weight staying healthy and of course exercising it helps a lot okay so and of course eating healthy food not just ever fufu rice gary even then my husband enjoyed the fact that i was on this journey because we had a timetable we have a routine to follow we have in the morning, we take our greens and veggies. Um, yeah, we take our greens, our smoothies, our mixed smoothies, avocado smoothie, and pineapple. In break and um, lunch, we take rice and vegetable sauce, not rice and stew. We have vegetable sauce. Dinner, I can just take chicken and probably vegetable sauce or chicken, and, and that's it. So I was eating healthy, balanced diet alongside my folic acid and alongside. Uh, what do you call exercising i was doing 1000 jobs actually that was what i was doing i was doing 1000 i was consistent with my 1000 jobs i mean skipping i was doing 1000 jobs per day though they told me in the routine that we're supposed to do we have cardio exercises we have but i was more comfortable with jumping ropes so i was doing 1000 jumping ropes per day and that tremendously helped my weight loss me tremendously helped me losing my belly fat losing my postpartum my baby fat and all that so that was basically what i did in preparation for baby number two then i actually prepared my mind too i know it could be mentally draining see when it comes to parenting motherhood pregnancy it's a thing of the mind and god will not give to you what you know you cannot handle if you know you cannot handle some people have been delayed they're having delay not because they are supposed to have delay physically they've done everything they could they are fit they are all um act wisely they are fit but they still discover that they don't check up and check up the that everything is fine and the, of course you know a spiritual attack we know that all these things might be that probably uh, spiritually god is trying to teach the um the waiting season and all that but at times, it's still that when God knows that you cannot undo a thing, you will deliberately delay it. There are some things I so much desire to have in my heart, in my life at the moment, but I do not have them yet. Well, I, think, I feel like maybe I'm not doing enough or something, but at the same time, I see that 
probably I haven't built capacity enough for it. So if you've not built capacity enough for parenting, no matter what, no matter the amount of prayer you build, you prayed, it will not come. So it's also a thing to build capacity. I was building my capacity, reading articles on parenting, how to manage a toddler. In fact, I was doing all sorts of research. My husband is even tired of the fact that I was always he said to me that I that I'm on what ordinary or call. What that means is that I'm always after my child more than even taking care of him, okay? So if God knows that you have capacity for something, he will not be told it though. Even if the devil wants to hold it down, God will not be told that thing from you. But if God knows that you do not have capacity for it, there's no amount of prayer, there's no amount of work, there's no amount of whatever you put into it, it will not happen. So prepare for it. Read up. It's a thing of the mind. So you have to be equipped. Fully equipped for it. Of course, there's some people that say, there's some people that they are not equipped. Don't come. Our mother, they are not equipped. And um, they still give birth like, what have you? But you know, our journey in life are different. So, our journey in life are different. And the kind of child that God will give you is different than the kind of child God will give me. So, some people are actually experiencing delay because God wants them to be prepared enough for the kind of spiritual child is given unto them. And if you have not um, the capacity to actually house or you know parent such a child, it won't come. All right. So that's how I basically prepared for baby number two. Spiritually, we prepared. We saw it coming. Physically, elsewisely, I prepared eating good food, taking folic acid. And of course, let me add, the minute I started ovulating, the minute I started my period, we changed, I changed our sex style. Of course, I won't be going into details because of YouTube, um, what's it called, in this video. But we changed our sex styles. Yeah, there are some sex positions that will encourage um, pregnancy. Why there are some sex positions that will not encourage it? There are some things you need to do after sex that if you didn't do them, that if um, you are just having sex or having sex sake, just for fun of it, you don't necessarily need to do it. So, like some like staying back in bed as the lady after sex, like raising up your legs. Some people will say it's a myth, but I know it works. Like trying out some styles, like the missionary style is actually the best position for pregnancy. If you had, and if you will do the probably the other style, the other other styles, there are ways in which you probably you will support your hip, you stay back in bed, you lie and all that. So those are actually other things to actually do too. You don't just expect to have sex immediately after you say you jump out of bed, the sperm this set to Richard God, I'm trying to say sha. Yes, so that's how we prepare for baby number two. I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, smash the like button. And I will see you in my next. Bye.